the reason, and just by way of summary, that we are kind of redoing the conditional use, the zoning hearing is because we did have a defect in posting it uh, when we did the original hearing last year in February of 2019. So in order to cure that defect and to allow any comments that the public wishes to make regarding that conditional use zoning approval, separate and apart from the land development approval, we have reconvened and republished um, this hearing. I kind of just want to supplement that for folks in this regard. A conditional use is a, it's, it's kind of a permitted use under the law with the exception that you have to meet certain extra specific criteria, objective criteria, and there's the actual extra um, procedural uh, 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 mechanism of going through the planning commission and having a public hearing. Under the law, if one meets all of the specific criteria for a use, we are legally obligated to approve that with reasonable conditions. Um, and we're not allowed to deny it if they meet the objective criteria uh, under the ground of general health, safety and welfare concerns, such as traffic or other uh, health concerns, et cetera, unless those extraordinarily or st and substantially outweigh the fact that you're allowed to do this activity with those criteria met in this location, which our zoning ordinance does provide for a crematorium to be located subject to these approval criteria in the mixed use district hearing. If you are so inclined, it would be appropriate to uh, in, uh, include uh, the following sort, uh, sorts of conditions. A, compliance with all applicable federal, state, and local laws uh, regarding the operation of that business, including the county uh, air quality emissions certifications that were alluded to during the hearing. Uh, B, compliance with the approved site plan, and that's the site plan is previously approved uh, by Borough Council on June 10th, 2019. Um, C, with regard to um, parking, um, just and also by way of information, noting that the approval in their occupancy permit is uh, conditioned upon compliance with the parking as presented and approved. And as such, the lawful maximum occupancy for this conditional use is approved. Be subject to the owner at all times not having more patrons, visitors, invitees than may be accommodated by that number of parking spaces approved by this matter. Uh, condition D uh, also is kind of a note uh, that no other use or occupancy other than this pet crematorium business is approved and such that any separate occupancy on the property by a separate user business, and for example, if it be a separate uh, business by this present owner or by lease to a, another party would be subject to separate application and approval, including adherence to all separate parking criteria. At the same time, making note that nothing herein is intended to limit the applicant owner from utilizing the existing spaces within the building, including the third floor space, as an administrator of the storage space, so long as those uses are subordinate to and accessory to the principal use as a pet crematorium. Um, e is uh, 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 compliance with exterior lighting plan. I would uh, amend that on the fly and have that include lighting and landscaping plan as commented on during the hearing by the engineer and others. F, uh, noting uh, to the extent not previously approved, signage uh, would be subject to separate application and approval for that permitting. And second, and, and G would be a, a catch-all that uh, adherence to all of those foregoing conditions are a, a uh, condition of this approval. And finally, G, advising the applicant that they have 30 days from this uh, date of this decision uh, in which to um, uh, voice any objections to those conditions, uh, failing which they will consider to be accepted.
And I would recommend if you, if if uh, uh, council, if any council member is uh, inclined to do so, to make a motion uh, specifically subject to the the conditions A through H as set forth in the proposed motion to approve application for conditional use dated April twenty uh, April thirteen two thousand twenty. Do I have a motion? Rick Moskino, so moved. I Rick Nick Krasnow, second. Second by Nick. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Um, I need a yeah, so Looks like you want the floor, Tom. Just, yeah, it doesn't require any new. I just wanted to make a clarification. I was concerned that I may have in the, in the narrative of the motion indicated that there were that they had a, a more spaces than they actually need. That I uh, and it doesn't reflect the decision. They need three spaces and they have three spaces. I will correct the copy on that motion when it goes back out. It does not impact the decision, and it still stands that they have three and need to maintain three spaces. I didn't want there to be any confusion on the public record. 